beautiful people and welcome to Blom Kiss TV. So today's video is going to be a little different. I know y'all probably like, girl, how you gonna start this video with these glasses on, with these new fly ass glasses and not even tell us nothing about it, okay? I know. So today's video is a little bit different. We are doing like snowed in, self-care, beauty maintenance. It's that time of the month. So we are... You know, I'm showing y'all a little bit how my days go throughout my cycle. Aren't these glasses just fire though? Are they not just fire? But yeah, I'm showing you guys kind of how a week in my life on my cycle is. And I'm also doing like a beauty maintenance routine at home. So we're going to do our some a facial. We're going to do our lashes, top and bottom lashes, our nails, our hair. We're going to do a pedicure, many petty moment. We're going to have um, some snacks. We're going to take us a bath. Just, you know, all the girly, the girly girl that time of the month things, but also beauty maintenance version, okay? I have been looking dusty for at least two weeks. I wasn't really wearing wigs besides when I went home. I didn't have my nails done. I let them I let them breathe for like weeks at a time. So I just been looking crusty. So I was like, you know what? Let's let's get it together. We on our cycle, but that's okay. We can have a little moment, okay? So that's what we're doing. Um, as far as these glasses, these glasses are from Vu Glam. This is my favorite pair. So they sent over. I have them all right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And this happened to be my favorite pair right here. I like these because they're black with like a gold accent. They go with everything. And I was like, you know what? I think these are going to be the everyday glasses. But I still wanted to show you guys the other ones I got and picked out. So let me show you. Now, this is the second pair I got. I like these because they were different. Um, I wanted to kind of step out the box. I like the big square frame shape, but I kind of wanted to play with the colors a little bit. Um, I feel like this shape fits my face the best. I like the little marble blue and gold on the actual side of the glasses. To me, that was super cute. And then the material of these were cute as well. They felt very sleek and like, I don't know. I can't, I don't know what the word is for that, but the, the actual frame itself felt very like smooth and sleek and just had the perfect finish. They all came in this little orange case here, which was super soft and cute. Now this is more of like my grandma's speed, but for some reason they just ate. Like I'm not really an animal print type of girl. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very like basic here recently. I've been like in pink, but I was like, you know what, let me try this cheetah leopard print out and see how it looks. And I honestly thought it was cute. Like I was surprised a little bit, Loki. Now this one is more of a neutral color and instead of like the square, it kind of goes up in the top right corner. If you see what I mean, like the top right of the lenses are kind of dragging my face up. And to me, it's giving the illusion of a lift kind of, I could be reaching, but to me, that's what it gave. I like these because they're kind of translucent but still like a statement piece. They're not super loud like the cheetah print, but they're still like I said, a calm statement piece, kind of like a translucent color. Now this is a similar shape and it still has kind of like a print, that gold and dark brown with like the rose gold on the side, which I thought was super cute. So these in particular, like I said, were my favorite pair because I feel like these are like every day. Honestly, I like all the styles I got, but these two I feel like were my favorites, but this one is more of an everyday thing. But these two are definitely both really, really, really cute. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna go have them. I'm gonna go have my prescription put in them. So you can definitely get 12% off. All you have to do is just enter your email like this. It's already right there and boom, they sent you the exclusive code. But not only that, they have like a try on feature. So they have on like a try on feature. You can download the app and allow access. Okay, so there we are. You can try them on so you can kind of see what the glasses would look out, look like on you before buying them. And so that's just very cool and cute. That way you're not getting something just completely by surprise. But yeah, that is the try on feature. If you're like, I don't know what style I like, just download the app and make sure you check out as many styles as you can so you find the one that suits your face and frame the best. And like I said, they do offer prescription. I personally haven't had my eyes checked in over a year and your, your eye exam is only good for a year. So I have to go back 
and get my eyes checked again and then have these customized to my prescription but these are definitely i think i'm gonna have both of these done i'm gonna have my prescription put in both of these because y'all know i'll be staring at the screen for hours at a time and it's just who i'll be having a headache but make sure you guys if you wear glasses in general as you guys saw the glasses are very very affordable and you can have a variety of styles you don't have to get what i got i got a kind of the same kind of style just different colors but well not exactly the same style but very similar just different colors but that's what i like but you get what you like and then once you do you just type in the code kiss k-i-x-x-x -X -X, for 15 percent off at checkout um this is not including your 12 percent that you can get just for downloading the app and signing up for their uh subscription letter which will just send you like notifications of discounts new releases and things of that nature so yeah I'm all for saving the coin. That's what this whole video is about, Loki, is saving the coin and taking care of ourselves, okay? I need to stop being lazy and go get my eyes checked <laughs> so I can have my prescription put in here. Which which pair was your favorite on me? I like this one, but which one did y'all think was your favorite out of all of them? Let me know below. And again, thank you, Voo Glam, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And let's get into the maintenance and that time of the month. Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. I just want you to focus, pull me in, pull me closer Give me that diagnosis, don't my mind like explosions Just one touch leaves me helpless, on repeat like it's endless That she sent to a white dress, looks so good, damn you with this, yeah I just want you to focus on my love, just focus on my I just want you to focus on my love, just focus on my I just want you to focus on my love, just focus on my Like you tryna earn that diploma Do it over and over, yeah Make it pop Coca-Cola Keep it hot Barcelona Bet she's turned to a white dress Looks so good when I'm naked, yeah I just want you to focus on my love Just focus on my I just want you to focus on my love Just focus on my I just want you to focus on my love Just focus on my We've already did our nails. They came out really freaking cute. One of them are crooked, but you can't really, maybe you can't tell. The middle one right here is a little crooked. But, oh well. I'm getting hungry. So I'm having a little granola bar. I'm gonna have a wellness shot. Well, it's not mine, it's empty, it's his. Mine's over there, but I'm gonna drink his for a chaser. But. I got my station set up over there on the couch to do my pedicure. We're gonna use some Kiss nails. Press on. These are the viral Bart box from TikTok. But yeah, it's so cozy. We got the heat on. He's going through his safe and some of his shoes and stuff. I'm doing my pedicure. As far as how I'm feeling today, cause y'all know this is like a little that time of the month vlog. I'm actually feeling decent. I'm craving sweet and salty. But, which is why this is perfect because it's both sweet and salty. But my pain level is not terrible today. I still am having some cramps in my stomach and some cramps in my lower back. 
my breasts are still a little bit tender but it's not terrible um my fatigue is not that bad i feel like i have some energy today honestly this is day three they usually last like six or seven days since i've been taking all my stuff they've gotten a lot shorter so this one may be five days i don't know we'll see but just checking in with y'all we'll do our pedicure and then we'll jump in the shower wash and condition our hair um take our vitamins and then we will have some lunch but this is just going to be like a slow like beauty maintenance at home so we can save some coin and yeah i just want y'all to be here with me i want to give y'all vibes but i still want to talk to y'all so yeah you're gonna get a lot back and forth but cheers and let's get into this pedicure
We're gonna let this conditioner sit until three o'clock. It's two forty-one, and then we're gonna rinse this out. And it's time for hair. It'll be time for us to install our wig. So yeah, we're gonna give this like twenty minutes, and then we're gonna go do our hair. Okay, self-care. Period edition snowed in so far is a vibe. Ten out of ten. But I am getting hungry. <laughs> dry and I did have a little breakage like a little bit more than usual so while it's still wet I'm gonna go in with the fenugreek and rosemary um moisturized and hair growth oil this makes my hair really really soft I just hadn't been as consistent with it and also I noticed a few nights in a row my bonnet was falling off and I was not really giving a fuck so yeah we're gonna put this all over and then I'm gonna massage it into my scalp i have this little like scalp massager thing that feels bomb and i also have some whey leave-in conditioner you guys left me suggestions um for some leave-in i'm almost out of that way it was just like a travel size one just wanted to test it out because y'all know that brand is expensive so i didn't want to just haul off and buy the big one without knowing if i liked it but i do like it but i am gonna go through my screenshots and get one of the ones you guys suggested me get might do a little more research too but yeah, so we do that and then I am just going to massage with my tips of my fingers. Although my nails feel good, I'm not, well, okay, now I'm doing a little bit with the nails. But once I get done massaging this in, I am going to let my hair air dry. I did like pat it a little bit with a, um, with a towel, which is not good for it, honestly, but I did do it just a little bit. But I'm just going to massage this in and then I'm going to go on with this thing here that I got from Ulta for like a few bucks. And just do this number here for some blood flow. Really work that oil into my scalp. And after I do this, it usually leaves my hair feeling pretty soft by the time it dries. But yeah, once it's a little more dry, then we'll put our wig on. I don't want to put the wig on prematurely because obviously... That's just asking for like a mildewy, nasty situation. But um, yeah, I think while my hair is drying, I'm gonna go make me a sandwich and some noodles and have a little lunch. Cause it's like three and I haven't ate all day. So I'm probably gonna do that and chill. And then we will install the wig. Cause who paying $200 for an install? Not me. And nowadays, honestly, I feel like if you're still paying for installs, you're just lazy. Like, it's not that you don't know how to do hair because now they're making the wigs to where you don't have to know how to do hair. Like, I'm self-taught. Like, nobody really taught me how to do wigs. I'm a visual learner. So if I watch a few videos, I usually, like, gather the concept after watching a few. Just my brain, like, I can't help it. That's just how my brain operates. But now they're making the wigs like completely ready to go out the box. So if you're still paying for installs, I understand if you want to treat yourself, but I just feel like it's kind of like a waste of money because now you don't have to pluck, you don't have to bleach, you don't have to do any of that. So I take advantage of the glueless wigs because it just saves me time and money. I don't have to go read my read my bio before you book and no extra people and like just you know. They're charging you to curl your hair. They're charging you to bleach the knots and customize it. They're charging you to style it. You know, it's just, I don't know. To me, I don't I don't see the value in paying. So I'd rather stick to the glueless and keep it moving. But like I said, I'm gonna let this air dry. 
this is the conditioner that I've been using as y'all can see it's pretty much gone there it's all on this side it's like a little bit though but this is what I've been using and you just spray it as y'all see it's gone pretty much but this is the one I've been on if you have one that I should try leave it in the comments below I'm about ready to go back to the blue magic and the soft ray because my hair was soft okay with the old school stuff take it back to day one where the base is petroleum jelly the blue I have blue magic and soft ray too but one thing I can say about this oil is it completely healed my psoriasis in my scalp so like I had an area in my head that I would pick at like every few days and it would be like a new fat ass scalp back there and it's just something that I knew was going to be reoccurring the psoriasis by the scalp i've done sulfur a i've done tea tree i've done castor oil like i've castor oil may have helped a little bit too because i did do that but i didn't see it actually disappear until i used this which is main attraction rosemary and vinegary hair growth oil it's supposed to be extra strength it's like i said the main thing i noticed from this was it took my psoriasis away completely so so i was very satisfied with that do I miss picking at it? Yes, but I'm glad it's gone at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm about to let this sit and air dry. Wash my hands, go have me a sandwich and some ramen noodles. And just, yeah, have a little lunch break action. Maybe watch a vlog or two. And then we'll be installing the wig. Okay, y'all, so my hair is completely dry and it feels so good. Well, actually, it's like 95% dry, but it's like 95% dry and it feels so soft and so good. So I think we're ready to go. So look at their packaging, y'all, on the back. This is VGM Girl Hair. So that Girl Magic Hair, I've worn their wigs. I think my first wig from them was... I know I had a wig of theirs in around September, but before that, I don't know how long it's been, but I've had a wig before September, maybe 2022. But yeah, I got me a kinky straight wig. Let's see what all she came with. Obviously the bag to store it. Then we have edge brush lashes edge band some hd and deluxe wig caps i like to have the variety and then their social media information as well as how to care for the wig i'm gonna keep the lashes and the edge band and stuff just in case i end up melting but this is the kinky straight it's the 24 inch so this is what i was telling y'all earlier the reason why i personally don't care about the installs is because nowadays it's just way too advanced oh this is so beautiful it's so beautiful it reminds me of like if you were to get a blowout can y'all see that texture if you were to get a blowout and blow dry your hair to me that's what the texture is giving the ends look very realistic But I'm just going to see what she's giving. Here is the hairline inside. Y'all can see how much she's plucked. The part is already ready. So let's just put her on. If I sound full, y'all, it's because I just ate lunch, as y'all saw that sandwich and the noodles and that chips and stuff. But then after that, I kid you not, I had like 12 Oreos and milk. I haven't had that snack since, probably since I was a kid. If you know me, you know I'm not really big on sweets and stuff like that. But I I typically like go towards a granola bar when I'm craving sweets. But sometimes on my cycle, I do crave like junk food, like salty food or like super sweet food. And this, this go around, it's just been Oreos and milk. It's just been really cookies and milk and goldfish. So yeah. I don't have a wig cap on, so let's just see what she gives fresh out the box. 
So this is so pretty and it feels so soft. So I kind of did want to layer the hair and then I may cut like a little excess right here, just a little bit. The wig is pre-cut, you don't have to do this, but I'm just choosing to do it. A little bit more right here. Hmm, let me see. What exactly am I gonna do with this? I kinda wanna leave it. Maybe just flat iron it a little bit. But I think it's cute straight. So I think we're just gonna run the flat iron over it because it's kinda crinkly if you can tell from being, you know, just the shipping process, like the humps in it right there. So I'm just gonna straighten it. But I'm gonna let it keep its natural, you know, kinky like texture. Another thing I could do is like, half up half down type of situation i think i want to just keep the middle part i enjoyed my lunch but y'all know how it is after you eat it just calls for a nap sometimes it just calls for a nap it's kind of late in the day though so i don't know if i'm gonna take a nap for real but that's what it's giving it's far away so i don't know but let's just run over this real quick do y'all like the kinky textures or how do y'all feel about it? I personally think they're just pretty. They remind me of like, I don't know, like someone who got their hair, who's who has natural hair who got their hair like blow dried and stretched. That's what it reminds me of. So I'm literally just going to take it. I'm not gonna get it bone straight because I want it to stay kinky how it is. You know what I mean? Just a little bit like that. That's it. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed right now that I really like about this wig is it has like a C-shaped ear protection design. So like, you know how sometimes you put on a wig and it's like digging into your ear and it hurts? This has like a natural C-shape design to protect your ear so that you're not in like pain or discomfort with the wig. And then also another thing that I like is like how wide the parting space is. So this lace is like, it's not a full full lace wig, you know what I'm saying? It's like a six by nine, but it goes deep. Like this goes all the way back here to the middle of my head. So it's like, I can appreciate that because for this particular style, I'm probably just gonna wear it down. But if I decide to like braid it halfway or do the half up, half down, add some baby hairs, like whatever I wanna do, I have the option to do it just because of the parting space and how wide, you know what I'm saying? How wide the lace goes. That's, that's pretty wide from here to here. That's a lot to play with. And then obviously we like how she's glueless. I don't think I have to say that part though. I think y'all get that by now. So I don't have to bleach any knots. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying, do none of that because she's already ready. And I think that this is just given. Now this is my real hair right here. So what I'm probably gonna do is push it behind my ear and pull this down with their edge bend. This is optional, but I'm doing it because if I wear my hair down behind my ear, I want this to still look, you know. So I'm gonna put some got to be. Now this is on my real hair, y'all. My little sideburn sticking out. So I just take like that much and just put a little bit right here. Same on this side. Um, I'm growing my hair out so I don't put heat on my hair. I'm just growing it out 100% natural. But if you don't mind putting heat on your hair, you could seamlessly blend this by just like running a blow dryer or a flat iron through your hair. It's just that, like I said, that's not my jam right now, but whatever floats to your boat, you know? So yeah, we got a little sap burn. And then I'm gonna spray her with um, hairspray. It might come up, as you can see, it's trying to curl up right there, but I just don't want that. To me, that just looks better. So you see how these are just like messy? That's what I want, just like a messy, cause this is like no baby hairs right here and this is like the messy look and I feel like the messy look is what makes it actually look like it really could be my motherfucking hair. So 
all you do is real simple and i'm not like gluing them down to my forehead and stuff that's like i'm over that look so you just pull a few out and you cut downward at an angle and then you really just mess it up like that and then you just do like that boom this is in whose hair and the last thing i'm gonna do is take some hairspray and just one little dash right there okay so this is the final look and i'm absolutely in love with this it's giving like calm it's giving pretty it's giving elegant it's giving i don't know i just absolutely love the hairline the pre bleach knots and the pre-customization. I think that's my favorite quality of the wig and just how it seamlessly like blends with my hair. Is my hair straight like this? No, but y'all see this right here? This together looks amazing. My hair is actually 4C, so it's very, 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 very coarse. But if my hair was in an afro and it was to be straightened, you see this curl pattern, that little crinkliness? yeah it would mimic this so yeah for those of you who have 4c hair when you get a blowout you know exactly what i'm talking about this is what it gives your hair don't get bone straight maybe at the salon but typically it'll get like this which is like a blowout type of look so i absolutely love it i think behind the ear is gonna be my vibe to show off the melt but if y'all are interested in this glueless easy install wig then make sure you check out the description box below i'll have their website as well as this particular wig because a lot of y'all are like oh my gosh where's the wig where's the wig where's the wig it's not out of 10 if you see it in a video it's probably in the description box or there's a video dedicated to it i have like a hair playlist i'll link it right here that has um, nothing but hair reviews hair installs hair reviews and things like that and i usually get on live and do my makeup to install the wigs so yeah if you have any questions about this hair if you want an update i will definitely give it to you it's cold outside it's like 13 degrees so if i do have to step out at least i'll be a little bit warmer with this wig but it's super soft and yeah this is what you call black girl magic okay i think i'm about to relax i'm starting to cramp a little bit so i'm probably going to enter my stuff into my little mobile period app and maybe like make like a little hydrating drink and just kind of chill for a little bit because my stomach is starting to hurt a little bit um i don't know if it was 15 oreos i had or what but yeah we definitely about to take a little nap maybe not a nap but we got definitely about to chill for a second because your girl is starting to cramp okay bitch who wave of sleepiness come over me over the last 45 minutes or an hour so i'm about to take some vitamins because i i try and take them in the morning but sometimes i don't eat until the evening and on nights like that where i don't eat until the evening i try and take my vitamins after i eat so i filled them up i, I want to say like two days ago is not she cute what is today? Monday. So, we're taking fenugreek, fish oil, B12, two probiotics, one prebiotic, one probiotic, and vitamin C. I think that's it. One, two, three, nope, I'm missing two. Fenugreek, did I already say that? I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, that's what we take. This one is huge. This one is freaking huge. But I was just watching uh, Diera's vlog, one of her most recent vlogs. Y'all know she kind of like is taking a break from YouTube, I think because of her grandma. But I was watching her. And then now I'm watching McKenna. My phone automatically goes to McKenna every day. No matter what I'm watching, eventually if I look up, if I don't change it, it's on McKenna. Sometimes it's not intentional. But it's just, I don't know. Her vlogs are really, really long. So it's like watching a little FaceTime. I don't know. But I'm not going to lie. It's been a very long time since I worked out on my period. And I've been doing research about like cycle thinking and stuff like that. To try and figure out like what's actually best for my body throughout the four cycles. Like luteal, menstrual, follicular, however you say it, and then ovulatory. I've been trying to figure out, you know, learning more about all four phases. If you're into cycle syncing, uh, comment some information below, tips and tricks. I've been looking into cycle syncing your food. Cycle sync is pretty much just your whole lifestyle, making sure you're doing things that's going to help, like, your body throughout your four different cycles that you have throughout the month. Now, the food part, obviously, I don't do the best at because during my cycle, I feel like I don't really eat that good. Right before it, I don't eat that good. <laughs> like, I don't eat terrible, but, like, for example, earlier I had half a sandwich and, like, noodles. And ramen is definitely not good for you. But I just feel like working out on your cycle is a little intimidating, for one, because my heavy's my heavy. My flow is kind of heavy right now and... The last thing I want to do is like have an accident in the gym in front of other people. Um, I am wearing these right now, like I showed you guys, which I absolutely hate tampons if I'm being like 100% honest. But the diapers that I have, they're just not comfortable. So I'm going to have to go buy some more diapers. I'm going to finish out this cycle with just my tampons, but I'm going to go buy... I think the black always brand of diapers I'm going to buy from Target whenever this snow storm, whatever this is, passes by. But for now, I feel like why get out in this weather when I can just wear the tampons? But I say all that to say like going to the gym sounds a little intimidating, but honestly, my body's telling me like go. Even if like I enjoy me and my boyfriend lift pretty much like we go and we stretch and we warm up and then we do ab workouts and then we lift he enjoys lifting i enjoy lifting so it's just you know i just look up and the time has gone by but i've heard that well from the research i've done when you're actually on your period like your actual menstrual phase it's best for you to focus on form and less weight but i also saw videos that said you should strength train so it's like kind of confusing i'm like i said i'm just learning about working out and my cycle so putting those together it's kind of a lot of information but i think if i do lift i'm probably gonna lift really light and just focus on my form just because this is day three of my cycle and i just i don't know i'm i'm just feeling real tired like i honestly just i'm over it i ain't gonna lie and earlier i felt good like earlier i felt like i could conquer the world but like right now it's five o'clock and i just feel like like i'm on like two percent but i really like i had like an inconsistent time after new year's with the gym like you know i went back home i worked three days in a row leading up to new year so everything just felt kind of like thrown off since the holidays and like me traveling and stuff so i'm trying to like get consistent it just sucks being on your cycle and still trying to stay consistent because i honestly just want to i just want to get the oreos and the milk and just eat them until i fall asleep <sighs> okay i'm done fucking complaining i'm about to get dressed and go to the gym and just do something light i'm not about to I just need to go. I need to stretch. I need to move my body. It helps with blood flow, all that. So, do y'all work out on y'all's period or what? Do y'all just, I don't know. Whatever. 
one thing I can do is wear black. That way, if I happen to like leak a little bit, then it's okay. But I just hope it's not a lot of people. Y'all look at this. That looks so good. But yeah, I just hope it's not a lot of people. And plus, we're snowed in, so we've been in the house all day. It's giving very much quarantine, which I'm cool with that, but like, also, I wouldn't mind getting out, even if it's just for like 30, 45 minutes. And I also feel like really swollen because like y'all know during this time, well, I don't know about everyone. Obviously everyone's cycle is different, but I feel like, especially for me, like my water retention is super high. Like I feel like I literally like gain weight on my cycle. Like obviously I lose it as soon as my cycle's over, but like <sighs> right now I just feel like a fat bitch. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm not actually a fat bitch. It's just like your your water retention in your body's high when you're when you're bleeding, okay? So we're not fat bitches, okay? We're just women. And that's okay. It's whatever. I was trying to find a ponytail holder to tie my hair up. No, I hate when these strings come. I hate when the strings like come out the other side, but oh well. Hella bloated. I'm gonna insert my stuff into my period tracker before I go, before I forget. And while it's fresh on my mind. And I'll show you guys what tracker I use. Today is Monday. Symptoms, I'm not noticing any acne, back aches, bloating, body aches. Cramps are medium. Honestly, craving salt a lot. I have been dizzy. And then our flow is heavy. I haven't had headaches or anything. Indigestion, insomnia, joint pains. I've had a little bit of nausea. And my breasts are just a little bit tender. They were more tender the first few days. But now they're just like barely tender. And then moods. For the most part, earlier, I was calm and energized, but now I'm a little fatigued. I always get super lovey-dovey on my cycle. It's just a thing. I feel like anyway, I don't know. Babe, do you feel like I get super lovey-dovey on my cycle? Huh? Do you feel like I get super lovey-dovey on my cycle? Yeah. Well, he says, yeah. So you think I'm mean when I'm not on my cycle? No, he's laughing. Okay. Um, I've also been a little sad and sensitive today. I was sad yesterday too, okay. Lifestyle. I don't really do lifestyle or notes. Um, I'm going to enter my intimacy. Um, towards the end so yeah and that's kind of how I can keep track of everything so yeah you just kind of keep track of everything daily and it kind of has um, an option for you to get like professional assistance or insight on your symptoms or like what to do if X Y and Z um, like professional advice on your cycle but also I think trackers are good just because like for me y'all know i was at one point on birth control and i'm not anymore so the tracker is good for just your overall general health but then also obviously like your intimate health as well because you don't want to look up and be like girl what happened and you can pull your calendar up and tell the people exactly what happened okay so let's say if something was off or something was going on and you were to go to the doctor you could literally pull that up and describe and show how you were feeling over the course of a certain amount of time to kind of give them insight on why you may or may not be going through what you're going through so if you're not using a tracker whether you're sexually active or not I feel like every woman should have one I should have had one as soon as I started my cycle but it took me 
buck my head a little bit last year before I downloaded it, but I love it now, honestly. But okay, we took our vitamins. I'm dressed. I'm about to spray some perfume. And then I still want to tie my hair up like this. And then we'll go just do something real light. All I need is 30, 45 minutes and I'm, I'm good. Older. Okay, so we've been back from the gym for a while now. I honestly just stretched and I did the Stairmaster for like four minutes. I did a little bit of dumbbell exercises, but I really just took it easy and made sure I was moving my body. And yeah, I feel better. I was really dog ass tired before gym, but now I feel like decent. Like I feel like how I should feel in the evening. Earlier when it was five, I felt like it was like 11 p.m. That's how my brain was like, oh my god. But um, we're having dinner, and here recently, I've been craving really, like, shitty food um, throughout my cycle. But today, I can say I'm genuinely craving, like, balanced meals. I still have a craving for, like, sweet and salty, but I'm overall still craving balanced right now. So I'm having, like, a little fruit yogurt bowl. And there's blueberries, blackberries, vanilla, uh, Greek non-fat yogurt, honey, walnuts, shaved coconuts. And I'm probably going to add some cinnamon and turmeric for inflammation. And then over here, we have two fried eggs with green onions, a tomato with black pepper, and what kind of bagel is this? A French toast bagel. A French toast bagel with a uh, cream cheese. I don't know if y'all can see this. But yeah. So I'm about to eat this. He's making like a shrimp bowl. But I just, I don't know. Dinners ain't been hitting recently and breakfast always hits. So I was just craving some breakfast. And yeah, I'm finna chill, watch TV. But yeah, I'm finna chill, watch TV, eat this, and probably just scroll, honestly. like 10 a.m. I honestly feel like my cycle is almost gone today or tomorrow will probably be my last day probably tomorrow I'll probably still be like spotting ish tomorrow but um still a little tender right here um the flow is getting a little lighter so yeah I want to run me a bath because a bath is not just something for my cycle but I take baths a lot just for relaxation anti-inflammatory like stress relief for pH health like just in general I'm like a bath girl I don't know how I had an apartment without a bath because I'll be wearing this bath out okay but I'm about to run me a bath I just cleaned the tub and then I got our little snacks ready we have blueberries blackberries walnuts cucumber a little cutie and then I don't know how to pronounce this cheese I feel like I shouldn't have it if I don't know how to pronounce it but um I've actually never had this by itself. I put it in pasta and stuff like that, but I've never had it by itself. But cheese with snacks, I feel like it's good. And then we also have um, our last wellness shot. This is, I think I explained this already in this video, but if I didn't, is ginger, turmeric, and beets. And after today, these actually won't be good anymore because they usually last like four, four days unless you freeze them, which I didn't freeze these. So uh, this is the last one we have. And then... These right here are so bomb. Let me show y'all. 
These are from Aldi. It's called a snack pack and it's pretty much just cream cheese with pretzels. And it's like a little dipping situation, bomb as hell. The cream cheese is garden of vegetables. So it tastes like, um, to me it tastes like French onion dip, which I have some of that too. But to me these are cute and they come just like this. So very cute and convenient. And then I also have some kombucha. Now this did not like sit up like kombucha typically does when I poured it because I had two bottles that had been open and not finished. So I married them. So I think that it kind of was like going bad. Not bad as in like, it was going flat, put it that way. It wasn't going bad like I can't drink it. I can still drink it, but it's going flat. So that's why I didn't like sit up like, you know, the seltzer vibe, it didn't do that because it's pretty much flat kombucha at this point, but I'm not gonna waste it. So, it's a little twangy, but it's still good, better than soda pop. So, let me tell y'all, outside of my cycle, okay, so we y'all know we went to the gym yesterday, right? So we walked in and it's hella people. Now, mind you, we're snowed in. We were snowed in yesterday and we're snowed in today because, you know, obviously the snow. Okay, so we walk in the gym. It's at least like 10 people in there, right? And everyone's working out. People are running. People are lifting weights. People are doing this, this, and that. Now, we go to the gym at least five to six times a week. Never nobody in there, okay? Now, understand, it's just like quarantine. When everyone's snowed in, they're bored. So they start doing things that they don't typically do because they're bored or they're out of routine, right? And you can't leave the house. So you're doing shit like going to the gym, whatever. I'm not against anybody going to the gym. What I am against, though, is people who never go to the gym going in there and coughing up a storm and not wiping the equipment down. Like, when he got on the Smith machine, it was sweat marks all over it. Like, you, like they didn't wipe it down. It was just stinky and nasty. And when I got in there, I didn't do the Smith machine. I wasn't trying to lift too heavy because, obviously, my cycle, I explained that. But this... Two dudes walked in and they were just coughing from the time they walked in to the time they left. And like during the winter, my immune system gets even weaker. So I'm I'm telling my dude like, hey, if they keep coughing, I'm gonna have to leave because the gym. For one, the gym is not big. For two, there's no ventilation. Like that, you can't crack a window or crack a door. Like it's just a very small enclosed space. Now our gym does have two rooms, but both rooms had people in there. So I was just kind of in the corner ducked off, just trying to like utilize the corner in the gym, you know? And I just keep hearing coughing, hacking up coughing. I mean, it sounded like he had like a hairball in his throat. And my thing is, if you're sick, don't come to the gym. If you have allergies or if you're choking, step out and drink some water. Don't be in a place like that and just be like continuously coughing and touching everything and not cleaning up after yourself it's gross i say all that to say two hours after we got back from the gym when i ate that food and i talked to y'all right after that i felt sick i kid you not sometimes i can have the immune system of like a baby like ask my boyfriend i literally was coughing up like i hate to sound gross but like chunks of mucus that was like green yellow and a little blood too like i that was i was not feeling no type of way before i went to the gym after the gym i literally was sick as hell and i feel like the gym is kind of like a nasty place it can be if the people aren't cleaning and and being clean while they're there like we have wipes we have sanitizer we have everything you need to at least get by until the cleaners come because obviously we have a cleaning crew that cleans like the entire building like the hallways, the elevators, like all the common areas, you know, but they've set cleaning wipes out and sanitizer for us to utilize in between the deep cleanings. And I feel like a lot of people ignore that. Like you need to wipe your stuff down when you're done, especially if you are sick. If you are sick, you should not be there. So I don't know if y'all can hear a difference from today and yesterday, but I have like some BS going on in my throat with some congestion and stuff, just literally from being in there for 45 minutes. And I wanted to stay longer, but he kept coughing. It was actually like starting to piss me off. So I was like, like, can we just leave? Like, I can't be in this small ass space. And I'm just thinking about how filled up with germs it is. Like, mm -mm. So yeah, I'm a little under the weather. So I was like, I want some fruits and veggies today. But I'm about to take this with y'all. And then we are going to run our bath. Like I said, I already wiped it down and everything. 
I wanted to start that book. I got a book, y'all. One of my goals for this year is to start back reading. Um, just to like exercise my brain, but I haven't started yet and I feel like I'd be fake if I started it in the bath. So I'm going to do what I actually do, which is watch YouTube videos in the bath, okay? Now I am going to start that book, but I want it to be on my own time, not for the aesthetics of the video. I want it to be on my own time, okay? I need to start the book and get in it and see if I like it or not, and then I'll let y'all know. But I don't want to start it today. I'm going to probably find a vlog to watch and just chill in the tub i'm pretty sure there's some videos i can catch up on because i haven't been watching youtube here recently not a lot not like i usually do so most of the time i don't even watch tv for i'm watching youtube or working i don't i'm not a big tv person i watch baddies with him well he watched baddies with me but typically youtube is my tv so yeah we're gonna find something good to watch relax run us a bubble bath i got some bubble bath from dollar tree when i went recently so we're gonna put some of that in there and see what it's hitting for. We got our apple cider vinegar, all that. So yeah, cheers. If they don't come out, I got an excuse to get another robe. Almost done. And also y'all, I got this new facial steamer. I've never used one before, but I'm really excited to use it because when i open my dishwasher when it's I'm almost done and the steam comes up it feels bomb so i'm excited to use that oh that ginger shot will get you activated activated and acclimated okay i actually love this wig this one can't be in the giveaway i mean i love all of them but this new one i gotta i gotta wear it a few times Anyways, I'm about to run the bath. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. my teeth and floss real quick the maintenance man just called and said he's about to come to the fridge because there's we're getting like a notification on the refrigerator that the um that the water filter needs to be like ordered and replaced so he's about to come take a look at that the one thing about these maintenance men they gonna call every time and ask and when they get here they're still gonna knock on the door i don't like the last people my boyfriend home right now so it wouldn't matter if he didn't call i wouldn't be in here by myself but so he said like five minutes ago he said he's like 10 or 15 minutes away from coming up here so i don't want to start skincare and then him knock on the door and it'd be a whole conversation and stuff so i'm gonna wait on him to come change this filter how to leave and then we're gonna get the facial steamer out and do some skincare I'm excited about this because I just know it's going to feel so good. I haven't opened it yet. I was waiting to open it with you guys. Plus, I've been super busy, honestly. 
in general it's been here for at least like two weeks like right around the time or no it came in right before i went out of town so almost two weeks but i'm excited to use it because i feel like the facial steamer is the most exciting part about the facial i hate to be a head ass or cliche i do not care the steam when you get a facial be feeling good when you cook in some type of soup or just anything that has some steam, you take the lid off, like ramen or something, and the steam goes on your face. That shit feel bomb. If you say it don't, you lying. So I'm excited about that. I did just rub champagne, um, pop, however you say it, the lotion from Bath and Body Works all over. So I'm going to wash my hands before we get started because that's the whole point of the facial steamer. It opens up your pores so that you can really, the product can actually penetrate beyond just the surface level you can actually get in in the pores and cleanse so i'm gonna wash my hands so that i don't get bath and body works inside my skin but i'm about to rotate some clothes and wait am i digging in my nose on camera yes do i give a fuck no why y'all didn't tell me i had a booger is the real question y'all be in my business but don't be trying to tell me that i got a booger no i'm just playing but no, yeah, I'm going to rotate some clothes until the maintenance man comes and goes. And then we'll get into some skincare. And I'm also wanting to shave my face. I kind of want to do that now. Yeah. I'm going to shave my face too. I already have some oil and I have the stuff to do it. Like I said, I just don't want to be interrupted by the maintenance man. So, two seconds. BRB. That's him knocking right there. That's him knocking. All right, so here's our facial steamer. I ordered it off of Amazon. Aroma Ionic Heat Steamer. Okay, let's get to it. Am I the only one that hate reading instructions? Like, I don't care what that say. How do I put it together? And I know that sounds stupid, but I just hate reading instructions. Like. Mm. Okay, here's what she looked like. Take this little thing off. Okay, looks simple. And I also usually wash my face in the shower, so I'm usually getting like a lot of steam, but it's different from steam in the shower from directly to your face. You feel me? So that's why we want the direct, direct. Oh, it comes with like some extraction things. Let me see what this is. Okay, it comes with like some little extraction tools. So like, yeah, okay, I'm feeling this. I'm about to go to town with my boyfriend. But look at these little tools. It has different kinds. Let me see if I can just hold this up so y'all can see. Like, it has the one that you open, you can go fishing, the one you stab it with. Like, yeah, this is a little extraction kit. I like that. Now, what is this? It's getting filtered, but I don't know. So, where do I put the water so I can get this bad boy fucking cranking? Guess I'll look at the instructions. So, it says open this and put the water in there. Okay, see, I just need a picture. I just need a picture. I don't need the instructions. I just need a picture. So we put our water in there. I should have put distilled water in here because tap water is kind of nasty. But the filtered water is cold. I'll use filtered water next time. Let me just test it out. Hold on, it's still getting cooking. Can y'all see that? I feel like y'all can't even see it. Oh, we're legit now. Oh, wow. So I wish I had a chair or something, but it's okay because I'm going to figure out some type of vanity situation. That I can have this feels so good I'm gonna let this go for a little bit and then I'm going to start the face washing process but for now I just have to hold it real quick actually I said we we're gonna shave our face first before we do that okay so let's shave the face okay so we're gonna use some castor oil you're supposed to moisturize with oil before you just go in and shave I've never done this before, but I know for a fact there'd be hair because I tried these black strips on my face and it was just hurting so bad. It was pulling out mainly hair. Like I didn't even have that many blackheads. It was mainly hair that it was yanking off and it hurt. And then also like easier application, smoother skin, um, product penetration, 
flawless uh, foundation application. Like, there's multiple benefits to, like, shaving your face. And then I also can clean up my eyebrows a little bit because I will be doing my makeup um, later to today. I'm going to take a nap probably first, but I will be doing my makeup. I might get on live and do it. I don't know yet. But And then these I just got from CVS. They were kind of expensive, so if you could go to, like, uh walmart and get these or order them off of amazon that would probably be better but i was supposed to do this on a different video and then things transpired so you know i got this on a whim basically like i got i stopped by cbs when i thought i was going to use them that day but if you can just get it from amazon or walmart because they'll be much cheaper that way but we're just going to take this right here and they say to spread. Let me, hold on, I'm nervous. Hold on. I'm going to put a little more oil. And since I'm shaving my face today, I might do my makeup tomorrow instead of today. Because um, you're supposed to give your skin a break after you shave your face. So we might end up uh, doing our makeup tomorrow instead. Mustache, yes. Your girl got a mustache. And what about it? Okay. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. I've been doing research, you're supposed to pull the skin back, which is why I am doing that. I'm going to get a cotton swab so y'all can actually see. Because I hate when girls be doing stuff and like you don't see the satisfying part because they feel like it's nasty. I don't care if you think this is nasty or not. I want y'all to see everything I get off my face. You see how this is dark and this is light? Okay. Oh my God, you're lying. That's kind of nasty. Okay. But that's okay. That's why we're doing it. Ow. Of course the mustache. This is low-key nasty. But it's kind of like satisfying at the same time. Okay. Now the eyebrows. Y'all, I've been doing straight eyebrows. And I really like them. Um, they give me like a natural little facelift or whatever whenever I do my makeup. Now, whenever I don't have makeup on, it looks kind of like weird, but I really don't care. So, this is making me have to boo-boo. So, I just go underneath and clean up this part right here. And then I'm also going to do the middle little unibrow part. Same thing on this side. Now, it's not advised that you shave your face at home. So, like, don't let me, like, convince you to do something that's going to fuck yourself up. Do your own research because that's what I did. And I know for a fact it's best to go get this done, but I'm still choosing to do it, which means I accept the consequences that may come with it. But this is your face. So, don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just a little disclaimer because I know as a I didn't go to school. I don't, like... Uh, none of that. I'm just a bitch with a razor at the crib, okay? So take that into consideration. But I do feel like if you do your research, if you're comfortable enough to do it as I am, then just do it. But don't do it without doing your research, you know what I'm saying? I kind of want to cut them shorter to where I have like actually half a brow, which is kind of what I did, but I wish I could do a little bit more. Oop. okay, I just nicked myself. He's as sharp as hell. I could have tweezed, which is what I do sometimes. Okay. I feel like we're good now. Because when I apply my concealer and I can see hair through it, it really grinds my gears and makes me want to shit myself. Okay, y'all see that little nick right there? It's trying to bleed a little bit, but it's okay. I'm going to put some uh, healing ointment on it. You might nick yourself. Uh, I was prepared for that to happen. I'm glad it happened where it did happen. 
But let me show y'all everything we got off of our face. First time, I probably could do it again, but I don't want to like cut too many layers of skin off. But this is everything I got off. And now we're about to steam and then wash. I wish I could sit and steam, honestly, but I'm gonna get a vanity situation going eventually, especially around summertime so I can catch some natural lighting. It is on a to-do list, but let me get some face cleaner. And we're gonna be using this because it's the last of it, as y'all can see. It's literally the last of it, so why not? First, I'm gonna just take some clean ones and wipe everywhere. That's what came off, what extra came off. This is what extra came off after the shave. So, let's crank this bad boy back up. So y'all, I just realized the head on the steamer is like mobile, kind of. It has a little bit of mobility to it, so I can point it up. Even though I can't sit all the way down, that's better than nothing. So, we'll do. So we're going to take some of our wash. We're almost out, but that's good. That means I'm utilizing my stuff, not just buying it and letting it sit. Some areas sting a little bit from shaving, but that's okay. I have some castor oil. That's what I'm going to moisturize with today because it's like healing. I also have some CeraVe. So we'll see. I want to put a little bit more of this on here. I'm actually going to pour it into my hand. I can't wait to like later I'm going to take those tools and go to town on my boyfriend's face because it came with all these extraction tools and i'm really gonna just tell him to hold the light hold the light while i get all this out and he hates holding the light but that's how i can see do y'all watch jada kennedy on youtube she it's an extraction channel where all she does is pull out like hairs and black heads and stuff and i don't know i love that so we got our stuff on here, our face wash on here. I'm just going to let this steam for like two seconds. I'm not going to use like the toner and stuff simply because I just shaved my face and my skin is just super sensitive right now, obviously, because I just shaved it. How many times am I going to tell y'all I shaved my face and y'all watch me fucking do it? Sorry, I keep repeating myself. But basically what i'm getting at is your skin is kind of sensitive and open so i'm just gonna do castor oil once i wash all this off i'm just gonna do castor oil and just let that do its thing and steam it a little bit more definitely not gonna put on any makeup today gonna wait till tomorrow for that i forgot how much this thing was i don't think it was more than like 20 dollars. if you don't have one just get it i'm telling you just get it because in a nutshell it just feels bomb I, one of my things on my to-do list this week is to update my Amazon storefront. So I'll have this, hopefully by the time y'all see this, my store will be updated. Because I want to recategorize like the stuff on there, like the different lists I have anyway. So I feel like this is going to be a game changer with the skincare. And I can't believe I'm just not buying one. I had one that was sent to me um, two years ago, or no, a year ago almost two years well I don't know shit I think it was almost two years ago and it was just too big it was literally for a salon suite and I did not want to keep that in my apartment so I got rid of it but let's rinse this off and then let's hydrate and see what she's giving Okay, so we have air dried, and this is with like no product on. Y'all see how good my skin is looking right now? Nothing on it, just air dried. So this is Hexane Free Cold Press Castor Oil, 
organic castor oil. That's all we're doing, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit and just I can see where I cut myself. Um it's not gonna leave like scars or nothing. It's just like a little nick. As y'all can see, my face is slightly red, but that's expected. Usually when I get my eyebrows done, they'll be like red and like hella bumpy. So like this is nothing new. This is still okay. I'm gonna drag it down to the neck. And it seems like a lot, but that's because I just put my skin through a lot. So I wanna make sure I'm putting something healing and moisturizing back into my skin. Put the rest on my elbow. And I'm gonna steam for like two more seconds and then I'll be done steaming. At this point, this part is just open the pores up, get the castor oil really in there. Whew. So that is it. We have a little something right there. Barely right here. And then that's where I actually cut it. This is just like irritation. But yeah. That is it for the skin. I'm going to chill for like two seconds. And then I'm going to go in there and make us some green juice. I might just make the green juice now. I might just make it now. We have some pears, some cucumbers, some celery, some cilantro that's about to go bad. The rest of that is still fresh, but some of it is about to go bad. So we're going to go ahead and make us some green juice and then chill. It is like noon, so we are making amazing time. Okay. Let's get some juice cracking, and then it's going to be time for um my daily lazy moment okay some lashes from V.I.'s Beauty, is that how you say it? I don't know if y'all remember this or not, but y'all remember when I went to that restaurant downtown and they were rude to me and I did my lashes like earlier that day? This is the same company. It looks like they have different packaging and stuff now. I actually collaborated with this company before, um, so I already know these lashes are bomb. I just ordered a different style. This is not sponsored. I just want to do my lashes and I wanted to order from a company that I know. I didn't want to try nothing new. I did not want to try nothing new. So this is what it came with. It comes with everything you need. Let me show you guys what I've got. DIY lash extensions, bringing the salon home. Okay, period. And then we have some bottom lashes and then we have a light volume fan a 70 spike fan and a 20d cluster so here's everything that it comes with it comes with our tweezers and then our lash bond and our lash seal so i am going to be doing top and bottom 
I think you do the bond first and then the seal after. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Here's that. But I'm not going to rush because I feel like last time I did these, I did rush because I was on my way to dinner. I'm not going to rush, but I also don't want to be doing it all night. You feel me? I'm just trying to get cute real quick. Save a couple hundred dollars. My lash lady, if you're watching this, Kira, you already know you're the bomb.com. You know, I love you down, but you girl trying to save. So I think I'm going to start with the top. I like doll eyes, so I think, I think I'm going to do like 10, 12, 14, 10. 10, 12, 14, 10 is I think what I'm going to do. 10, 12, 14, 10. And then on the bottom, I'm going to do fives and then sixes and then fives. 10, 12, 14, 10. Don't let me forget that, y'all. 10, 12, 14, 10. Or should I do 10, 12, 14, 12, 10? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. 10, 12, 14, 12, 10. And I'm going to do five on the bottom, six, and five. Those are the links I'm going to do. I'm going for like a doll eye. That's what I feel like looks best on my eye. I don't know what eye shape I actually have. I don't. Someone told me hooded. Someone told me almond. I don't know what the vibes are for real. But um, my lips are dry so far, so I'm going to put some of this on my lips. Y'all, I took a nap for like 45 minutes and I felt drunk when I woke up. <sighs> but anyways, I, let me get my lash thing out. I have like a lash brush in here, I thought. I don't see it though. Hmm. This little lash thing is to wash lashes. I bought off Amazon, but I don't see it. So, VIs, however you say, if y'all are watching this, y'all need to send spoolies with your stuff i might have a spoolie in my purse but let's just start okay so the lash bond i'm just gonna speed this up and i'm gonna start with the outer corner and yeah Hold up. Hold up. Okay, you guys, so it is, sorry, I got my phone on a charger, but let me see, it is now Thursday, is it Wednesday or Thursday, wait, it's, let me shut up before I start lying, it's definitely Wednesday, not Thursday, but I just want to come on here and show y'all the final look, so I did my makeup, and I did this on live, so if you were on the live, hey. If you weren't on the live, then you missed it, but it's okay because I'm going to be going live. I pretty much go live at least weekly. Um, sometimes it's every two weeks because things happen like life, you know. But I did my makeup on live. I did lower lash line. I really wanted to focus on skin, so that's what we did. And this wig just looks absolutely amazing. Literally flawless. Um, I have my flat iron because I'm thinking about running over it one more time. I also thought about going through some layers and stuff, but I just wanted to come show y'all the final look. Nails are looking so gorgeous. Nails still look amazing. Lashes top and bottom amazing. Toes are looking fabulous and feeling soft. So I wanted to go over this list with y'all so y'all can know like how much I saved by doing this at home. Okay, so we did a manicure and pedicure fridge tip plus a fill. The, all these calculations are according to like what you would pay to maintain it because this is like an at-home maintenance. So I wanted to show you all like how much I actually saved by doing this all on my own. So my manicure and pedicure plus fridge tip plus a fill, which is pretty much you get them done every two or three weeks, is 300 Brows are usually 10 to 15 and you most people get them done twice a month. I don't, but most people do. I put $30 for that. 
first facial and derma cleaning that's 200 these are averages okay which means some people are spending way more than this some people are spending a little less than this um lashes top and bottom plus fill 300 wig install now wig installs are typically between like 150 and 200 and then if you're doing it every two weeks because no nobody's really like even if you wear the same wig you're going to get it touched up and reinstalled because this your wig's just not going to last for two whole weeks like it's just not happening if you get it sewn in and you leave your own edges out maybe but if you're getting like your hair installed and maintaining it 400 a month minimum usually more than that that's an average minimum okay and that total comes up to twelve hundred and thirty dollars so i spent maybe twenty dollars on these lashes i spent maybe twenty dollars on these lashes maybe fifteen dollars on this facial steamer i think i spent like thirty dollars on these nails but they came with like i want to say a ridiculous amount it's a box of them i don't know i spent like twenty dollars on that thing the the at home pedicure maybe 10 15 bucks on the epsom salt and um oil i mean it's just like you can make your high maintenance low maintenance if you just get at home and get in princess mode and just tell yourself like i'm gonna take my time and do these things because i deserve it i feel like when you rush for one it doesn't look as good you can tell you rushed and for two you get frustrated and you're rushing it that's not like your feminine energy like i found this video on tiktok but she was basically she was basically saying that feminine energy is taking your time and pouring into yourself and being creative and resting. So like y'all know like when you're on your cycle, your body's cleansing itself, your body needs rest, your body's essentially like purging from the inside out, right? So I feel like it's important for you to rest. But if you want some self-care around that time to make yourself feel good, you shouldn't have to break the bank to do so. You know what I mean? And for the longest, I think I even equated like self-care with like luxury spa, luxury this, luxury that, luxury this. And to me, luxury is a subjective. Luxury is subjective. So like to me, everything you guys just watched me do over the last three days was luxury because I was able to be at home, let my body purge, um, rest, eat foods. Some foods were healthy. Some foods were cravings. I was able to do things on my own time and really just enjoy the process of like loving on myself and my maintenance and giving myself the self-care that I needed. I didn't have to go out and buy the most expensive wig and have it installed. I didn't have to go out and find the best lash check in Nashville and go get my lashes done and like spend all this money just to like pamper myself you don't have to do that i saved over a thousand dollars doing all this stuff at home now was it a little bit time consuming yes but i feel like we make time for things that we want to make time for and when i'm looking at myself right now my wig looks good my makeup and my lashes look good i don't have strips on these are the individuals that i did myself okay my nails and my toes look amazing my skin feels good the only thing i didn't do that most people would do in these routines is like hair removal but that's only because I really enjoy growing my hair out. I absolutely dread when I have to go back to work and I have to remove my hair. I love having afro under my underarms, downstairs. I love having hairy legs. I love having hairy arms. That's just my thing. I really enjoy feeling like a human. You know what I'm saying? We grow hair everywhere on our bodies and I don't think that I should be trying to remove it. It just feels kind of silly because what are you removing it for? Hair doesn't make you stink. If you feel like your hair is making you stink, you probably just stink in general and you need to detox. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not talking shit. I'm just being real. Your hair is not making you stink. Find you some good deodorant and detox your body. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just being, I'm just being real. It, it's one thing to smell like sweat, but if you smell like onions, like must, you need to detox. You need to go on a seven day detox, okay? And after you get off that detox, you need to do a little better. And I promise you, you will not smell like that no more. But the hair, I like growing my hair out. I have been wanting to film like a self-care on my cycle thing for a while. So I really enjoyed this. I also enjoyed, you know, taking my vitamins with y'all, talking to y'all, getting all my stuff done. It's been fun. I even got to go on live with you guys. It was really fun. But yeah, as far as today, it's 2.20 right now. 
we're just now wrapping this vlog up i just wanted to get on here and show y'all the end results or whatever but i think i'm going to film a wig video and then just edit for the rest of the evening i may film two videos but i think i'm just gonna film one um because it's literally due tomorrow so i gotta hurry up but i'm gonna film one vi one wig video later and then yeah, I'm just going to chill. I just wanted to come close this vlog out and tell y'all thank y'all so much. I hope this motivates you guys to save a little bit of coin this year and um, do some of the stuff at home. If you have a lot of kids and like it's too much for you and you feel like you going out and getting your nails done is the only time you really get to yourself, then I'm not trying to take that away from you. But if you can find it, you know, in yourself to manipulate it some type of way to where you're doing your stuff at home i promise you i feel so much better knowing that everything's on fleek and i did it myself diy okay saving coins putting it towards something else you know what i'm saying even if it's just going out to eat it don't matter i could put that money towards something else okay but i feel like we we equate like femininity with like how much money you're spending like femininity doesn't have a look okay it's an energy and i that's what that video was saying like being feminine is an energy like being at your highest feminine level is like an energy it's an energy you carry it's not a wig like i come on here without my wig all the time it's not a wig that makes you feminine it's not the makeup that makes you feminine it's the energy you carry how you respond to things how you know how you pour into yourself how you pour into others how how others feel when they're around you when you're when you're coming through you know what energy do you bring is it hard and masculine and can't tell you nothing and always in a rush and stuff like that or is it soft and slow and enjoyable you know what i'm saying i'm still working on becoming more feminine because i ain't gonna lie i'm a hard ass sometimes but i'm working on it and i feel like doing these things at home is forcing me to really stop and slow down and pour into my cup i can't pour into anyone else's cup if i'm not pouring into my own so again i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this and you will be getting way more of these today we saved 1230 okay but if you're interested in this wig or the glasses which this ended up being my favorite pair. Like I told you guys before, this was my favorite pair. I'm going to take these and have my eye exam done and put into here. Because these are just so cute. And y'all know I'm editing 24-7. So I just want them turned into like reading glasses really for editing. So I'm not straining so much. And because I'm trying to get back into reading. So, But if you're interested in either the glasses or the wig, make sure you check out the description box below um and i think that's it don't let nobody play with you okay don't let nobody make you feel like you're not worth pouring into your own cup because you are there's nobody on this planet not even them kids that's more important than you you cannot be your best self to anyone else if you're not your best self to yourself you know what i'm saying you have to treat you have to take care of you first okay and then you can take care of everybody else you first then everybody else okay that's all i'm saying but thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you in the next video